Hey, hi everybody. Welcome. It's a, a new week, the dawning of a new day. It's Monday, and I hope you're in for a fantastic week. We've been talking about that hero, Thomas. You find his story in the Gospel of John. And uh, we've been doing a, a bit of a study on this guy, and I must say, every time I talk about him, I feel a bit better because it makes me realize I'm not the only one in the world that has ever doubted some of the things that God has said or will do. But uh, we're learning from Thomas about what faith looks like. The opposite of doubt is obviously faith. And uh, we've spoken about those who have this blind faith that just go out and do what God tells them at the drop of a hat. But uh, most of us need to understand a little bit more. We said last week on Friday, we set the scene by talking about understanding by listening, not just by listening to the Word of God, but by hearing the Word of God. And you all know that there is a difference between the two. Hearing the Word of God is the key and foundation of our faith. But here's another one for you today, and it is understanding comes from the experience of faith. You know, every time I experience God coming through by way of prayer or by way of, of doing something in my life, my faith is strengthened because of the benefit of looking back and seeing faith at work in retrospect. And when I look back and I say, wow, look what God did. He did do that. He can do that. He will do that again. And He will continue to do those things because He's done them in the past. When we look at faith with the benefit of retrospect, we look back and say, wow, God did come for through for me. God did provide. And even if He didn't, it doesn't matter because my faith has grown as a result of my experiencing the wonder of God's presence. Faith comes not just from hearing, although hearing is good. Understanding also and faith come from experiencing God. I just think of that well-known classic story of David and Goliath. You all know it so well. And you know, when David stood before Saul and said he would fight Goliath, and Saul said, on what basis? And he said, well, on the basis of my past experience, I have heard God. I have seen God at work. I have experienced God in, in helping deliver me from, from the bear and from the lion. And because I've experienced God, this giant, I'll deal with him. And so we see David standing with great confidence because he's experienced already firsthand, not hearsay, not by some story that somebody has told. He personally has experienced the blessing of living by faith. It was David who said these words in the Psalms. He said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging for bread. What he's doing here is he's looking back over his life. He's now soon to finish his kingship deal. And he's looking back and says, you know what? There's something I've noticed out there, that God is faithful. I've noticed that he has never and will never let his righteous be forsaken. Or let, in this case, their seed be begging for bread. I have seen it with my eyes. I have experienced it in my life. And so today, I want to say to you, the opportunities that God gives to us to experience Him by faith are innumerable. They're everywhere. When we look at the lives we have to live and the challenges that I know you good people are having to face out there in the business world, in the, in the reality of the, the cut and thrust of life, uh, I'm going to tell you people, as I look back over my life, I know that God has been faithful and that God has delivered me as well. He's never failed. He's not likely to start now. God is an amazing person to be able to help us like that. Now, I wonder, and I've said this before, and I don't know whether it's a popular thought, but you know when we get to heaven, they say there'll be no regrets. Well, I wonder if faith in heaven won't be my greatest regret. Because when I get to heaven and I see other people who have great stories to tell about how God delivered them, and I hear and I see God himself, and, I, and I'm saying to myself, man, I really wish I trusted God more. My only and greatest regret in heaven is going to be, why didn't I trust God more? Because that would be a great story to tell when I get to heaven one day. 
So let's live by faith, people. Let's go out and experience Him. Let's look to experience God. Let's look for Him to answer our prayers. Let's look for Him to be God in our lives to a far greater degree than we've ever done before. Faith comes from understanding, and understanding comes from experiencing. And then looking back and seeing God at work. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.